Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Live from Hulusulu. This is Queen Helen of the Rajak, Queen Elizabeth the Third. We are now situated at the very heart of Sulu, and in our main headquarter in Hulusulu has brought the power and authority as the foundation of the new generation in the implementation of peace, defense, economic development, healthcare and learning program, and renewable energy, and that is the buried asset, the gold, oil, diamond, and other minerals that are under beneath the territorial domain of the Royal Imperial Lepasug Islamic United Kingdom of Sulu in North Borneo. It is an honor for today to have again our beloved Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo, the King of Southeast Asia, Raja Muhammad Gamar Mamai Hassan Abdurajak, the King of Southeast Asia as handed by the grandfather Tunku Abdurrahman Putra al Hajj. For with him, we know that the cobwebs of uh, the conspiracy of all this black propaganda, the publicity of the claimants that they are going to receive the money from the Malaysian government as mandated, as awarded by the court of France. This is a very ex essential to know the conspiracy right from the start of the fight of the nine heirs of the claimant Sultan Sulu in North Borneo. Why? In Tribunal Superior de Justicia in France, why they are not putting the claim, the fight in Makama Tinggi or Makama in Sabah, Putrajaya, Malaysia. So they have their arbitrator coming from France just to have the 62 billion payment they are being demanded with the government of Malaysia. So this is now the vital uh, point because they knew that Queen Helen and King Mamai have already come out to the entire world because they, the legitimacy is not from us, it is from Allah. It is from God and it is from our elders, our big brothers, our uh, ancestors that really stood for us. Good morning our beloved uh, King, uh, Sultan Sulu. Uh, this is the moment now, despite of uh, what they are doing, spiritually trying to harass uh, our stamina, our, our standing, because uh, they are using black magic to really have us uh, lower down our physical standing. Good morning. This is the moment that we have to speak in English because yesterday my broadcast has reached to the ears of our big brothers uh, in different countries and uh, our Queen Mama listened because we want to stop the war and really put the so-called um, pressure from the, the kingdom of the royal empire of Lupesu because the sovereign court is the powerful entity to give them the pressure right now. Good morning. Auj billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning to all my brothers and sisters, Christian, Muslim and others. I am going to declare the truth that there is a predecessor of law 101. The predecessor of Law 101 is the heirs and successors. There was a message 
right in hand on 1903 in 1903 sorry before the 50 years extension of Mapilindo the message contained I heartily support and witness the kirill of this note from to the onwards up to his descendant to whom it may concern the man has the right to overcome the rulers from the division territory from the mainland of North Borneo, the highness by the guardians of King Mama and Queen Helen in accordance precisely to the predecessor of law 101 how could the claimants recognize by the illegal court of France actually there is a code the code 102 is the coordinating partners which is Brunei government the code 103 that is the high court of Kota Sabah Kota Kinabalu the recognition is from Sabah not from France we know that the governor Sakoltan in 2017 they went to Sabah to endorse all his document in high court but he was not advised they were at the High Court of Sabah advising to go back to the Philippines. They stay in Hayat, Kota Kinabalu. I will warn the France government, do not interfere. The Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo concern because you are not recognized. We know the Treaty of Paris. The recognition of the Treaty of Paris is England, government of England. It was uh, given authority by the Sultan of Sulu, Sultan, uh, Sultan of Sulu government, government of England, government of Germany, government of France, government of Italy. It was the last treaty of Paris in 1925 when my father was born on 7th June 1925. Mark my word. We know the claim during the administration of Judge McCaskey, North Borneo, in 1939 that lead by Dayang Dayang Piandao. Dayang Dayang Pan Piandao is not the true Piandao. The true Piandao died without husband. When uh, Sultan Amirul Umrah married to Dayang Dayang Piandao, they will go to Sandakan to claim Sabah. Imagine. And that's the, the one that assumed the power of yeah. Sultan Jamalul Kiram II, yeah. Raja Mamai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They killed uh, Jamalul Kiram Poison. II, poisoned, but it is Ama Ali, yeah. Sultan Ismail Ikram. Now, this is now the, the reason why we are trying to give the, the, the clarity, the truth to the world because of this claim. The reason why Amirul Umrah is the advisor, personal advisor of Sultan of Sulu. And he is the man of America. So this is a complicated we were sold to America and misunderstanding. Then. Amirul Umrah is used by the American to manipulate all the assets of the Sultan Jamal II. This is all gold and diamond. This is a asset, fighting for asset. They will lead the uh, Piandao in nine years. This nine years, not legitimate because all representation of nine years is the son of Punjungan. Punjungan son. That's why, according to Judge Makaski, they gave a two question mark. If the heirs in succession will not come, the award will be given to them. But if the heirs in succession will come out, so. They are valid. They are invalid. That's why Datu Mustafa Harun, during uh, his time as the Prime Minister, as the Chief Minister of Sabah, they will give a compensation. How could the Malaysian government give an award of 63 billion ringgit Malaysia? When the 31st July 1963, they are not given a country. Imagine, they are not given a country. You must aware of the International Criminal Court of Justice. You should not uh, issued an award to do so all claimant. This claimant is already uh, expired because with the heirs and successors and apparent 
heirs and a parent that is the North Borneo Sultana the Holo Queen of the Philippine Island. This is the secret. If I cannot marry the, the only daughter of Marcos and the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II, I cannot be a legitimate Sultan of Sulu in North Borneo. Believe me or not, I am telling the truth because the word of wisdom we must respect. Allah, 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 Allah. Okay, uh, Raja Mamai, uh, in 2012, we remember when we were together with uh, Congressman, uh, uh, former, Congressman. former Congressman Lola Deer, Lola. Josephine, uh, Josephine, uh, the, the, I mean, yeah. the one that really helped us, yeah. that they sabotage. Okay, now, when we were in Baguio, automatic, they made the publicity destroying our morals so that the people that would help us will will be uh, i mean will not honor us the same thing now what they are doing and uh, because this is the claim of muhammad Puad, and muhammad Puad is together with this uh, person the their packager that is uh, called the uh, hrh prince omar kiram doc de legaspi duque de bivar maniques that's why they have filed this case in france so the support now uh, who really funded them is it malaysia or uh, other countries or this is the one that coming from malacanang because the, the the claim of these nine heirs is also rooted in the pistol because they are supporting the revolutionary government and uh, this is the claim that they want to take over the Philippines because my Miswari supported the claim of Muhammad Puad and Muhammad Puad is with Gloria Arroyo. So because remember how many of them sent by the Queen Mother to study in England uh, together with Prince uh, uh, Charles. Actually, uh... During the regime of my uncle as the government of Sabah, Chief Minister Datumus Napaharon, the three was uh, given a scholarship to study in London, which is uh, Aji Asanal Bulkia, Ibrahim Johor, Ismail Ibrahim, and Muhammad Puad. The two seated as the king, king of Johor and uh, king of uh, Brunei. This Muhammad Puad, is a stolen identity of Donald Steven when they embrace the Muslim. Donald Steven is from New Zealand. They embrace a Muslim and become the head of the state and uh, also chief minister. Muhammad, this uh, Puad is not the true Puad. Mark my word. This is stolen misidentity, misunderstanding of identity. Misrepresentation. Misrepresentation of identity, sorry. They must be uh, an, uh, to be arrested. Because uh, he is representing the royal yeah. Hasimite of he was born. Of he Sulu. was born in Sandakan. His father is uh, made a uh, parao. That is, uh, oh, boat, that is falsification of documents. Yeah, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not the true Muhammad Puad. The true Muhammad Puad is uh, the head of the state of Sabah and the chief minister of Sabah. Donald Steven embraced the Muslim, become Muhammad Puad. And How could he get the identity of Muhammad Puad? He was not born in New Zealand. He was born in Sandakan. Now, and I'm, you know the father and the I mother. I know the father. She's in Sandakan. And it's, you said the, before, the father is making a boat, small boat. Yes. Yeah, he is uh, from Simonor, Simonor Tawi Tawi. The one uh, uh, creating yeah. a small boat. Small boat. Okay. Now they have the lineage. Now because they were packaged. Yeah by the government of Sabah. They were sent to England. Prince Charles and uh, their classmate, Gloria Arroyo, uh, Hassan al um, uh, the, the one in Juhor, Ibrahim, together as, with Puan. As was I told when uh, 245 years old came to Sabah in 2003, it is, uh, he is uh, Abdul Adjalain. When he is in Brunei, the 29th Sultan, Ahmad Tajuddin. They went here in 2003. According to him, if any one of you, my, my grandson, uh, give, uh, wrote a letter to Queen of England to my cousin, you are the one. You are the one. 
So, he told us that Queen Elizabeth II has no daughter, has no son. But he has daughter in the Philippines. He don't have any son, daughter in England. All adopted. He was the one who told us. Abdul Adjalain. Gloria knows that. For 245 years old. Come to Sabah in 2003. But he was not uh, being proceed to Brunei because of his uh, grandson uh, was ad advised, his, uh, advised the uh, immigration of Labuan to cancel his trip to Brunei. So he will not uh, go to Brunei, he re return back to the Philippines. Abdul Adjalain. Ahmad Tajuddin in Brunei, Abdul Adjalain in the Diangas. So this is the very reason why I'm trying to shell out and dissect the truth about the claimants. The claimants of today, now, uh, that really is supported by this uh, Dux uh, Bivar Manikis, this is Omar Kiram, who is also a Christian, and uh, in our picture cap uh, caption, uh, they are in Vatican, and they have come to the different parts of the claim that they have, and then finally, they want to of France in uh, the superior uh, the court, the, the Tribunal Superior Court de Justicia. So it's like the High Court. Now, the, the main thing is Malaysia doesn't recognize. So they are now in hot tr uh, trouble now because they, the government, uh, this claim has awarded this uh, 62. billion is a uh, is from the session money. Now, we have to discuss about the deed of 1878 because they adulterated the deed. They said Jamalul Alam Kiram. This is not Jamalul Alam Kiram, but it is Jamalul Alam Haji Hassan Pasang. So these people is trying to destroy the law of succession and the identity of the Sultan. Now, if we have to discuss the 1878, it was signed in Likup Adam, right? It's not just in the palace of the Jamalul Alam, which they call Kiram. Now, Raja Mamai, can you elaborate well what is the meaning of Alam, what's the meaning of Kiram, and why they are using the claim, putting their family name, their surname as Kiram, because they want to claim. Actually, the the real one, the the, the truth. Uh, in uh, hundred years, British North Borneo Chartered Company before ended the uh, three years uh, Treaty of Paris in 15th century. There was a first treaty in 15th century that the that my great great grandfather gave an authority to the Pope because his best friend is Pope in Vatican. They made a statue. Of cross that through that agreement. That Before is a 300 that, years. Yeah, that was on November 1st, 1881. That was the first throne of Queen Elizabeth I, Queen Victoria Island, Labuan, Brunei, Sarawak Empire. Before the Queen of Elizabeth I transferred to the England, they made another 100 years under the British North Borneo Chartered Company, January 22, 1878 to 1978, 100 years. And then that was the second throne of Queen Elizabeth I as the Queen of England. So this hundred years, there was an extension. That's why I already told, I already read the message. I heartily support before the signing of the 50 years extension by Jamal Kiram II on April 22, 1903. Extension with the deed of 1878 for 50 years signed by Alfred Den and Obek Oberbeck with Baron. Sultan Jamal of Kiram II, Baron de Oberbeck. How could they make the claimants? It is all black propaganda. Because they killed Jamal of Kiram II. Jamal of Kiram II was not killed. The one who was poisoned is Ismail I. Kiram. And that is Ama Ali. Ah, Ama Ali. That is Sultan Turun Lawan Dumaga in Borneo Sarip Usman Ali. But his name was stolen 
or taken by Salim bin Ali now staying in Tawaw. Tawaw. So this is the very ah. reason that they continued the claim in trying to overrule the law of succession from predecessor of Law 101, uh, which is very clear, and the one with the 1405 and direct from Sharifful Hashim, Sultan Saidina Abu Bakr, the first Sultan of Sulu. Because the claimants just get their lineage from Jamalul Kiram II and because of the manipulation, the support of these other people who are also claiming of the money of the Sultanate of Sulu in North Borneo, Raja Mamai. Now, this is now the time that we have really to assert, we have really to impose the law because the sovereign court is above the government of the Philippines, which you can see how they manipulate putting the spread of uh, information to really block the true heirs and successor to the throne, which luckily we were granted our uh, succession yesterday, the other day, because we were able to get the blessing of Queen Mama, Queen Elizabeth II, and the brothers that are controlling the finance of the world. So how are we going to do this? Because they had been doing this since the beginning, the stoppage of the Sultan of Sulu. That is the main reason that they are using your brother your name, the stolen identity, that you is Damar bin Abdul Gapar is also the identity stolen by your brother Al-Nas bin Abdul Gapar. So using Alam Kiram. As I asked you, Alam is called the light. Kiram is Nuran, uh, is Quran Nur Karim. So it is not the clay the name of the heirs and successor what is that uh, note of judge makaski i heartily support can you say it again the, actually the truth of the matters no one is above the law we respect the law that's why there is an international court of justice to justify it. and we have also installed the sovereign court in Indanan by Puti as that we are sovereign judge of Sulu in North Borneo and the queen also sovereign judge of Sulu in North Borneo we have to tell the truth and we have to tell the public all over the world and they are we, listening right now we that's are right. the heirs in succession that's why written by the British North Borneo chartered company by hand the message very clear I heartily support and witness the Kirill of this note from to the onwards up to his descendant to whom it may concern the man has the right to overcome the rulers from the division territory from the mainland of North Borneo the highness by the guardians of King Mamai and Queen Helen in accordance precisely to the predecessor of law 101 that is the main uh, reason that they have adulterated, they have destroyed the law of succession. Actually, their succession just come from Jamalul Kiram II, Mawalil Wasit. So all of this, they have just to impose that they are really from the lineage of the Kirams and the Alams. So my lineage is three. I am from the blood of Jamalul Alam. I am from the blood of Jamalul Kiram. Direct. Direct. I am from the blood of Bolkia. I am the true Bolkia. Because the identity of Adi Asanal, it was only February 26, 1984. That's why mis misrepresentation of identity. When they will not change his family name as Ummal Ali Saipuddin III, he is legitimate sultan. But he was he is technical because they are getting Bolkia. He is not the lineage of Bolkia. That's why they must have to return all the responsibility to the Sultan of Sulu because I am the true Sultan of Sulu. The Sultan of Sulu is the king of Southeast Asia as the replacer of my great-great-grandfather. 
My great great grandfather, he, he is the first and the last king of Southeast Asia, and he became the first prime minister of Malaysia. He was the one who gave independence in 31st August 1957, known to be Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj in Malaysia, Husin Kamaludin in Brunei, Raja Husin Kamaludin in Singapore, Muhammad Kamaludin in Sulu. Muhammad Kamaruddin in Indonesia, Raja Hussein in Borneo, Brunei. This is I'm going to tell you the truth. Jamalul Kiram is a kun. Jamalul Alam is a kun. Only Bulkia is the true name. That's why I am Bulkia. Okay, right, your mama. The good thing is, you have ordered. Me as the queen to do the inventory. Remember, now the 64 billion, the 63 billion that they are trying to award, they are being given three months pressuring the government of Putrajaya. What are we going to the gov to do with the government of Putrajaya when in fact they are not a country; they are only a trust. And this is now the legitimacy. That they are claiming Sabah, because of this claim, they have not realized that we are going to come out as the true lineage direct from the succession from Queen of England and from Ama Ali, the thirty-third Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo. And now you are the thirty-fourth Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo. 